Hello friends, welcome back to another awesome day. Day 59 of the 100 days of hell with Python algo trading. So far, we have covered 6 chapters of the book Option Volatility and Pricing and I hope that you are following along with me. You are reading the book, you are attempting the multiple choice questions and you are performing all the tasks given by us. So from today onwards, we will start the chapter 7 which is risk measurement which involves different kind of Greeks like Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega and Rho and I'll explain you thoroughly that how these Greeks work and how you can make use of these Greeks in your risk measurement strategies. So without a further ado, let's get started. So first of all, the basic question is what are Greeks? The Greeks are the majors of the risk involved in the option trading. They provide us a way to quantify how different factors affect the option pricing. Let's understand them one by one. First Greek is Delta. Delta measures the rate of change of the options price, which is also known as premium, with respect to the change in the price of the underlying asset. It represents the sensitivity of the options price to a $1 change in the price of the underlying asset. Let's say if the Delta is 0 0.1 and the price of any underlying asset changes by $1, then the options price will change by $0.1. Hopefully it's clear, it's not that difficult. Let me write the formula. The first one is delta, which represents the change in the price of option with respect to the change in the price of underlying asset. This V is the option price and S is the underlying price. And one more thing to understand that let's say this is zero, this is negative, this is positive. So we can interpret that the call option price changes from uh, zero to one call option and the put option ranges from negative one to zero. The second Greek is gamma. Gamma measures the rate of change of delta with respect to the change in price of underlying asset. Please pay attention. Delta measures the rate of change of options price gamma measures the rate of change of delta right so we can write like this second is gamma which is rate of change of delta with respect to the underlying assets price changes and we know that this delta is what this delta is and it becomes this so you can write like Gamma represents the sensitivity of delta with respect to change in underlying assets price. Simple. And these are the interpretations that gamma is highest. It is highest when option is at the money. And a high gamma represents that delta is very sensitive to the price very sensitive and we know that when it is highest at at the money okay next week we have is theta theta measures the rate of change of options price with the passage of time okay let me quickly revise delta measures the options price with respect to the underlying asset price gamma measures the rate of change of delta with respect to the uh, change in uh, underlying asset price then we have theta which measures the change in option price with respect to the passage of time. So I can write like this theta. Theta measures the rate of change of option price with respect to the time. And here you can write like T is the uh, time to expiration. And here are the few interpretations that theta is negative for both call and put options. Okay, next Greek we have is Vega and Vega measures the rate of change of options price with respect to the change in the volatility of the underlying asset. It represents the sensitivity of the options price with respect to the volatility of the underlying asset. So you can write like this, Vega is rate of change of options price with the volatility of the underlying asset. So you can write like this, volatility of underlying assets. Okay, 
Last but not the least, we have Rho. And what it measures? Rho measures the rate of change of options price with respect to the change in risk-free interest rate. And this is how we can write the formula. Rate of change of options price with respect to the change in the risk-free interest rate. Right? This R represents the risk-free interest rate. Okay, first we have delta which represents the sensitivity of the options price with respect to the change in the uh, price of underlying asset. Next we have gamma which represents the sensitivity of the delta with respect to the change in underlying asset price. Next we have theta which represents the rate of time decay of any options price. Next we have vega which represents the sensitivity of the options price with the change in price of underlying assets. And the last we have is rho which represents the sensitivity of the options price with respect to the change in risk-free interest rate. And this was it for the option Greeks. You can buy the book from the link given in the description. And please revise all these concepts. These are really very important. Please do not start option trading without understanding these concepts. Right? These are the key to your success in option trading. So this was it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.